I grew up on a farm and uh, I, I kind of always wanted to be a show jumper to start with. Uh, and I loved horse riding. Um, I started working in a local restaurant when I was uh, 14, 15 and fell in love with cooking. And then I knew from that age that I wanted to be a chef. Yeah, where I was from, there were, were no top restaurants, so I had to move. Um, and I went into school and I became an apprentice. And it was, uh, it was quite a, a tough time at 16 years old to, to leave home, but I was so full of ambition. I just was very headstrong. And uh, my parents weren't very happy about it, but uh, I guess I just, I, when you're young, you're almost ignorant to the world and you just have a, a dream to do something and, and I did it. One of the most difficult jobs I, I got was working in, in Monte Carlo for Alan Ducasse. They said they didn't want me because I was too senior, I wouldn't do a junior job and also I didn't speak French. So I took myself off to a French school and uh, did an intensive course for one month where I wasn't allowed to speak a word of English and came back for the job again and I worked a week for free to show them that I was good enough to do it and then eventually they, they took me. Often I was, was the only woman uh, but it never occurred to me, I didn't really think about that. I was very focused on just being the best. In the early years when I was a young chef, coming into the kitchen the automatic uh, response was, oh you're a woman, you don't belong here. And I think it was because they hadn't met too many female chefs that actually lasted within a team. It's a, it's a team environment, it's very intense, and you have to perform. And there was times where I started at quarter past five in the morning and, and finished at, at one in the morning or one thirty in the morning, and it was relentless. It's almost a military training to, to prove that you're good enough to be in that team. And the environment was like that. It was the team would dictate who was good enough or not. I don't believe in pushing the guys to the limits like that anymore. I think it's unrealistic. I don't run the kitchen like that. I run the kitchen like me. I talk to everyone. We, everyone is the same. We're surrounded by very, very passionate people that, that inspire each other about new techniques or, or something. And, and it's this network of people that makes you a good chef. I'm someone that's quite uh, obsessive about things. And I have a lot of things that I keep and will always keep with me, or little messages that people have given me throughout my career and gifts, I keep them all with me. It's, it's my good luck to remember. One of them said, failure awaits her who lives off the successes of yesterday. And I always remember that it was when he changed it from him to her. <laughs> and, it, and it stays with me because it's, you always need to remember to work every day to make sure you're still successful.